right now. It's a neocan. Okay, so it needs a compressed gas source, remember? Uh -huh. let's, let's talk about the advantages of this device. Can it provide CPAP? Mm -hmm. yeah. yes. Can it provide blow-by? Mm -hmm. Yes. Can it function without a gas source? No. no. That's a disadvantage. No. All right, so what's the other main advantage of this device? There's one more. It's light and portable. It's portable. Okay, but there's one other really this main advantage of it. Does it mix the oxygen and everything? Yeah, yeah. 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 as like a built-in blender yeah. oxygen, you know? Mm. No. Operator doesn't become fatigued. Thank you. There's one more. While you're, there's one more that's even more important. This why it's used in a delivery room. Provides consistent pressure every time. Okay. There's no variation between breaths, okay? Because there's so there's no human intervention except for well, I'll show you. Okay, so it comes with this tubing which connects to the device. You turn the flow on from the wall, which connects here. It has a manometer that you use as well. I'm going to hold it on the baby now and show you how you check your pip and peep, okay? So I'm holding down now. No, it's not going up very well. Okay, so let's do this. Baby can. Baby can. Just, just want to make sure it's in the rosette. Okay. Oh, it's kind of moving. Okay, so I'm I'm giving about five of CPAP right now. If I want to give more CPAP, what do I do? I sim I simply close this valve right here. Oh, that's a valve. I can get a seal. Yeah, so that's a peep valve right there. Okay. Okay, so I'm altering my PEEP valve. Can you see the manometer? So I have five of PEEP right now. Thereabouts. Okay? If I want to if I want to set my pressure, I simply use this knob right here. Let's see, this is it. And I hold down on this, I occlude the orifice, and there's my PIP. I alter it with this knob. Up or down. PIP, peak inspiratory pressure, no. Oh. So this is PIP and PEEP. I want 20 over 5. Oh, so you left it on. So you're doing this on the baby or on, on the baby? Okay. If I could get a good seal, I'd do it on the okay. baby. Let's see if I can get a good seal with that. CE3. Can't seal it. Oh. Can't seal it. <laughs> the baby so it's not very good for that, but let me, let's, say, let's say this is on the baby. Okay, so I want to do 20 over 5, which is what I recommend as a startup. Ken, yes. would you do that with the front of the baby? Can we take the baby out? Yeah, take the baby out. Take the baby out. Take the baby out. Take the baby out. Don't take the baby too far. It might, it might work, it it work nice. with the flow in front of anybody. So this is the baby right here. Baby, baby desk. So once again, the advantage is I give a consistent amount of pressure each time. All I do to give a breath is I occlude the orifice which is connected to the PEEP valve. If I want to get more PEEP, if I'm just giving CPAP, I increase it. Now I'm giving 10. Okay. And that's the baby breathe. That should, pressure should Baby can breathe spontaneously through it. Yes. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. should. They have an exhalation valve right here. That's the exhalation valve as well. Okay, so now I'm 20 over 10. All right, let's go through a scenario real quick. I'm doing 20 over 5. <laughs> I'm in the delivery room, I've just got this baby, and my saturation is 50. What do I do? Give him peep. How do I do that? How do I increase my peep? Peep. Thank you. I'm giving 20 over 10. So I'm going along, I'm going along, my chest isn't moving. The seal. Which means what? Could be the seal. Which could be what else? The head maybe is occluding it, the pineal reposition. Okay. Good. What else could it mean? There's a mucus plug or something. Or some kind of plug. The baby's not What moving. else could it mean? I'm looking for the simplest explanation. I'm not giving enough what? Pressure. I'm not giving enough pressure. I eat tidal volume, so what do I do? Increase the pressure. Okay, somebody increase the pressure for me. I want to go to 25. But what is it? Like if Okay, I'm 25 over 25. What is this button? Turning it on? That's the pop-off. Oh. Kind of easy thing to use, Yeah. 
that's the whole beauty of it. Yeah. That's the whole beauty of it. And, and whoever, I think you said it's really Mike, that has portable. So I you can that. put it on your, you can put it on your isolate, on your gurney. Wait, wait, your coach guy. And that's what we do. We put it on the gurney and you go, if you're going somewhere, you take it with you. Manny doesn't get credit for that. <laughs> Okay, so that's the Neopip, Neopap, Neocrap, 